Hello everybody, welcome to Simulate Heaven. I'm just doing this very quick video to introduce you guys to a game called Aerofly FS. Aerofly usually in the past have only done remote control car... Um, no, hello, I'll say that again. Is it remote control car or do they do all vehicles? But basically they've done a simulator series in the past where you can simulate driving where you control vehicles. So a lot of people were surprised when they actually came and said they were going to do a fully fledged flight sim. It was getting pretty good reviews and I managed to get this game pretty cheap over the Christmas holidays and a Steam sale so I thought hey why don't I just buy it to see. And as you can see the graphics look pretty nice, I mean the rendering on this interior it looks pretty good now. The kind of flight sim I'm trying to find is not the completely realistic, it's going to take you hours and hours to learn every control kind of flight sim. I believe that um, I'm looking for something a bit more casual so when you have these kind of um, aircraft and usually it's a little bit easier to learn how to fly it. So I bought this game and I also bought Microsoft Flight and I already have owned Rise of Flight for many years and I'm trying to get into that as well so expect me to do some videos on these three games. Um, yeah so I thought I'd just do this quick video just to show you the game to show you to show you me trying to take off. I've not really played the game a lot so don't expect me to be very good. These are the views you have. F2 will give you this really nice behind the pilot view which is nice. F3 is the cockpit view. F4, let's look at the plane. Oh, hang on. F5, there you go. Oh no. Interesting. F6. For some reason I can't seem to show you the plane like being able to pivot around, never mind, and let's see what we've got here, simulation, oh right, well, it's on easy right now, let's move it to something a little bit harder, shall we, I believe I've already set the graphics and everything, let's put it in the middle, but, I've, oh and it had to restart, <laughs> okay, so let's go back and see how we do, um, yeah, okay guys, so, I'm going to try to get my track IR working with this game. Right now I don't have it because it has broken the, the pro clip thing is slightly broken. I need to fix it so once I get it fixed I'll be using track IR again. There are some really nice details with this uh, vehicle. It's pretty nice. Let's see how let's see how we do with the takeoff. So I'm using a joystick side tech uh, side lever.
good to me. But, so that's the flyby view. Come back. I said come back. Oh, that's strange. <laughs> it's like the flying off thing. must be a way to look around the camera view, but for some reason I can work it out. Okay, this is the passenger's view here. So let's uh, spin around. I think when you get up to altitude, the map does look pretty nice when you get up to altitude. So.
town because it's entirely flat. That's why I call it about the 10 village or town. I mean, that is some pixelated stuff right there, isn't it? And I have a feeling we're going to crash. Because we're pretty low to the ground and I think I'm running out of. I was hoping we would have a but I think I have. Let's see if we can. Let's try not to crash into the trees and the school there and the boats there.